Now today we discuss about the how the concept of the distribution coefficient is useful to multiple liquid liquid extraction operation. To know the usefulness of this distribution coefficient in the liquid liquid extraction operation at first we have to know that what is distribution coefficient. If an excess amounts of liquids or solids is added to a mixture of to a immiscible liquids if there is a container and it contains two immiscible liquids and we added uh, excess amounts of a solids or a liquids and then that solute must distribute itself in two phases in a definite uh, concentration ratio if in that solvent is concentration c1 and in this solvent the concentration of that solute is c2 and then the c1 is c2 is always be constant and this is the distribution coefficient now the liquid liquid extraction operation to determine the <coughs> efficiency with which one solvent can extract a compound from the another solvent this phenomenon is known as the liquid liquid extraction operation and the product containing the removed material that is the extract portion and the liquid portion which contains some materials that have to be removed this is called the raffinate and this is extract now let we consider a separating funnel consider a separating funnel containing two immiscible liquids having their mass respectively a and s now we adding some fit to that immiscible liquid mixture and the concentration of that feed in the raffinate portion just after adding that is xf and in the extract portion that is zero just after addition and so now the the, the concentration is xf so the xf equal to the mass of solute by mass of solvent so the mass of solute equal to mass of solvent that is f into xf so you get the mass of solute <coughs> and after a certain period of time due to <coughs> certain extraction operation are going on and so after a certain period of time the concentration of the feed in that raffinate portion may be x2 and uh, sorry x1 and in the extract portion that is y1 and so what we can write from the mass balance equation we can say that a into x f plus s into 0 equal to a into x 1 plus s into y 1 that is our equation number 1 and now the distribution coefficient we already know that this distribution coefficient is the concentrations of the feed in the extract and then the concentration of the feed in the raffinate so you can write if the distribution coefficient is k then the k is equal to y1 by x1 so from that we get the y1 equal to k into x1 so this value may be put it in this equation and you get that a into xf is equal to a into x1 plus s into k into x1 so from this we get the value of the x1 is equal to a by a plus ks into xf that is our equation number 2 and that's all are occurred in the first separating funnel and if this raffinate 
is our feet of our uh, second separating funnel this raffinate is our feet of our second separating funnel that time what you get just after addition the concentration of the feet in this separating funnel in that uh, raffinate portion that is x1 so this is x1 and just after addition so in the extract portion the concentration of the feed is zero and after certain period of time due to some extraction liquid liquid extraction process the concentration is become x2 and in the extract portion the concentration become y2 and uh, what we get again from the mass balance equation we can get that a into x1 plus s into 0 we well, same mass is 0 eta a and this is s and a into x1 plus s into 0 is equal to a into x2 plus s into y2 and uh, similarly in this equation we can also get that y2 equal to k into x2 because this is the distribution coefficient and from this we can get that a into x1 plus 0 is equal to a into x2 plus s into kx2 and from this we get the value of the x2 the concentrations of the feed in the raffinate portion that is a by a plus k into s into x1 and now this Now, this value of the x1 we get from this equation number 2 already that is x1 equal to a by a plus ks into xf. So, we can write that a by a plus ks into this value a by a plus ks into xf. So, what you can write that is a by a plus ks whole square into xf. So that is the concentrations of the feed in the raffinate. In the raffinate, that is x2 equal to a by a plus k whole square into xf. That is our equation. When we conduct that liquid liquid extraction process in two times, first times and second times, and you get the square. And so it is clear that <coughs> when we this liquid liquid extraction process. Uh, performed for n times then what will be the equation x n equal to a by a plus k s all to the power n into x f clear and <coughs> from this equation we can determine the concentrations of the solute in nth number of raffinate we can determine from this equation and this is the importance of the distribution coefficient this distribution coefficient in the liquid liquid multiple time extraction operation process we can determine the number the various uh, numbers of uh, liquid liquid extraction process when performed in multiple times the last numbers uh, experiment the concentrations of that feed or that solute in the raffinate portion we can determine very easily by the using of the distribution coefficient and so this is our answer.